The air crackled with excitement in Clarkston, Georgia. Thousands gathered, their voices a chorus of hope and anticipation. They were there to witness history, a joint campaign rally with Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Barack Obama. The energy was electric, the crowd buzzing with a shared desire for change and a brighter future. This wasn't just a rally, it was a powerful display of unity and a testament to the enduring power of American democracy. The event, held just days before the crucial midterm elections, was more than just a campaign stop. It was a symbol of the high stakes at hand and the importance of this pivotal moment in American history. Clarkston, a city known for its diversity and welcoming spirit, served as the perfect backdrop for a message of inclusion and hope. The choice of location was no accident. It reflected the very soul of America, a nation built by immigrants and united by shared dreams. The sight of Obama and Harris together on stage sent a powerful message across America. These two trailblazers, each representing a historic first, embodied the progress made and the potential that lies ahead. Their presence was a testament to the power of perseverance and a resounding affirmation of the belief that America's best days are still to come. Their message was clear. The future of the nation was at stake and they were calling on all Americans to join them in the fight for a more just and equitable society. Obama, the nation's first black president, spoke with his trademark eloquence and passion. He reminded the crowd of the progress made during his administration and the importance of protecting those hard-won gains. Harris, the first woman and first person of color to serve as vice president, brought her own brand of energy and determination to the stage. She spoke directly to the concerns of everyday Americans, focusing on issues like affordable health care, quality education, and economic opportunity. Obama didn't mince words. He issued a stark warning about the threats facing American democracy. He spoke about the dangers of misinformation, the erosion of trust in institutions, and the rise of extremism. He reminded the crowd of the fragility of democracy, emphasizing that it requires constant vigilance and active participation to survive and thrive. He urged Americans to reject cynicism and apathy, reminding them that their voices and their votes have the power to shape the future. This isn't about left versus right, Obama declared, his voice echoing through the crowd. This is about right versus wrong. He called out the lies and distortions being peddled by some, urging voters to choose truth over fiction and to reject those who seek to divide the nation. He reminded everyone that America is at its strongest when united, not when torn apart by fear and division. He challenged every citizen to be a guardian of democracy, to stand up for what is right and to never take their freedoms for granted. Vice President Harris brought the focus to the kitchen table issues that directly impact the lives of millions of Americans. She spoke passionately about the rising cost of living, the challenges faced by working families, and the need for affordable health care and quality education. Her words resonated with the crowd, many of whom were struggling with these very issues. She presented a clear contrast between the current administration and the vision she and President Biden share for the country. We are fighting for every American, Harris declared, her voice filled with conviction. We are fighting for those who are struggling to put food on the table, for those who are worried about affording their medications, for those who are working two or three jobs just to make ends meet. Her words were a call to action, a reminder that government should work for all Americans, not just the privileged few. She spoke about the importance of investing in education, healthcare, and infrastructure, arguing that these investments would create jobs, strengthen the economy, and ensure a brighter future for all Americans. Uh, one of his most powerful aspects of the rally was the palpable sense of hope and optimism, particularly among the young people in attendance. Obama and Harris directly addressed the younger generation, urging them to become active participants in the democratic process. They emphasized the importance of voting, of raising their voices, and of fighting for the future they want to see. This is your country, your future, Obama told the young people in the crowd. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. 
He encouraged them to channel their energy and idealism into positive change, reminding them that they have the power to make a difference. Harris echoed this sentiment, urging young people to register, to vote, to volunteer in their communities and to run for office themselves. Their message was clear. The future belongs to those who are willing to fight for it. The crowd erupted in cheers as music legend Bruce Springsteen took the stage in a surprise appearance. A longtime supporter of Obama and Harris, Springsteen lent his iconic voice to the campaign, performing a set of his most beloved songs. His presence underscored the importance of the moment and added to the already electric atmosphere. Springsteen's music, with its themes of working-class struggles, hope and resilience, provided the perfect soundtrack for the event. His performance was a reminder of the power of music to unite and inspire, and his message of hope and solidarity resonated deeply with the crowd. The rally reached its crescendo with a powerful call to action. Obama and Harris implored everyone present to vote in the upcoming election, emphasizing that every single vote matters. They reminded the crowd that democracy is not a spectator sport and that their participation is crucial to protecting the values and ideals that make America great. We need you, Obama declared, his voice booming across the crowd. We need every single one of you to make your voices heard. He stressed that the future of the country was literally in their hands and that their votes were the most powerful tools they had to create the change they wanted to see. Harris echoed this sentiment, urging the crowd to not only vote themselves, but to also encourage their friends, families and communities to do the same. As the rally drew to a close, a sense of purpose and determination hung in the air. Obama and Harris had delivered a powerful message of hope, unity and the importance of civic engagement. They had reminded the nation of what was at stake in the upcoming election and ignited a fire in the hearts of those who believe in a brighter future for America. The fight for the soul of America continues. The outcome of the upcoming election will have far-reaching consequences, shaping the course of the nation for years to come. But one thing is certain, the spirit of hope, resilience and determination on display in Clarkston, Georgia serves as a powerful reminder that the American people are up to the challenge. The fight for a more perfect union goes on, fueled by the voices of those who refuse to be silenced and who believe in the promise of a brighter tomorrow.